What's going on, fam? It's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray. And today, we are going to talk about Ty Trivet and his uncompromised position in not selling his soul to the industry. Let's get into this, man! Go Lucky, go Lucky, go! So, Ty Tribute put out a video, I believe, a few days ago, and he was venting his frustrations, frustration, excuse me, about his new single he's trying to release. He's pitching to his label, and the team and some people, a part of the team is giving him some suggestions that he doesn't like. I'm going to play the video real quick. It's about three minutes, so stick around with me, and we're going to come back. We're going to analyze it real quick. You know, I just got off the phone a business call and I'm just talking the air out a little bit. I'm just, I got a single coming out. Well, I want to put a single out that I'm like very, very excited about. I've been off the music scene for a little while. I feel like I've been off the music scene for a little while and partially for, for, for reasons like this. Uh, so I've been off the music scene for a little bit now. I'm excited to kind of come back and give this single. I'm excited about this song. I feel like it fits the times. I feel like it's encouraging and inspiring and uplifting and I wanna make, not make y'all, but help y'all dance a little bit through this pandemic. Uh, bring a little joy in your homes, bring a little dance and uh, an encouraging word. That was the purpose of it. Uh, I use whatever resources I had. I don't got my band here. I don't got my singers here. So I just, you know, uh, the sound is what it is. It's kind of like work it out type thing. But I just got off the call with, with, with um, you know, a business call. And, and, and it's like, I'm not selling out, y'all. I'm sorry. It's like, yo, your song is hot. Da, 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 da. If you do this, we can get you. I was like, yo, man. I was like, nah. I literally just hung up on the call. I literally like, hey, y'all. I can't do this right now. I know it's it's really all about the money, and I I ain't selling out like that, yo. So I, I, I'm out. What I mean all about the money is, like if you got money, you can get certain platforms. Period. Um, if not, you got to do certain things to get that platform, and make certain compromises. I don't got the money other people got. Well, let's just say I'm not willing <laughs> to use the money I got for that. That's what I mean by I'm not selling out. I ain't doing that. Nope. I'll pay my bills with my money. I'll, 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 I'll help the church and the people. No, I'm not that ambitious. I don't need it that bad. The song is going to come out. It's going to do what it's going to do. But I, I can't compromise, man. I can't sell out. I just can't believe... I can't believe I'm, I'm, this is why I don't, this is why my head was in the sands of Orlando and lived church. Like I can't, the industry, I can't, I can't do it. It's not godly. God didn't establish, establish the music industry. He didn't establish the gospel music industry. It's an industry. It's just, and to, to, to make music and to use the gift God gave you and to put all your blood, sweat and tears. I know I sound like every other artist, but you put your blood, sweat and tears into it. You put excellence into it. You, you know what I mean? The Lord gives you a gift and you want to give it back to him and point it back to him. And then you got to place this baby called a song into the hands of a godless industry. It's like, yo. And I'm not just talking mainstream. I mean, even the gospel music industry is, is not God established. Though he is glorified, he didn't establish it. So doing a rant, and it goes on for about 12 minutes. He talks about the industry being evil, the industry, music industry, and also the gospel industry was not ordained or invented for the glory of God. It was, it's not godly. It's an industry that's built on almost, this is Ty Tribute's words, almost evil satanic. And he goes on to say that a lot of people that are willing to go the extra step 
you have to have the money to pay on certain platforms, to be on certain platforms. And he said he's not willing to, to take the money that he's made in order to invest in these platforms in order to grow his audience. He also said that the gospel industry, he said the music industry, and also the gospel industry was not established by God. But God can get the glory from it, but it wasn't established by God. And at the end of the day, no matter if it's mainstream or gospel, even the Christian side of it is still business. And the one thing that I've been hearing and seeing a lot behind the scenes is that even though somebody may be, quote unquote, in the gospel industry, they may not be, a lot of times, are not even Christians. They're just people who are conducting business. I found out this the hard way when I wanted to get on a radio spot uh, locally here. And I went to the local gospel station here. And um, one of the gentlemen I was dealing with, I, it was like, okay, this is like a mainstream cat. But he's in the gospel world. Didn't make a whole lot of sense. And the one thing, the frustration that Ch Ty Tribute said was that he makes a song for the glory of God and gives the song to a godless industry. So his his personal idea is to give the song the glory of God and he gives it to the industry that doesn't have God in it. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And Ty also speaks about not wanting to pay to play. Now, Ty Tribute is the multiple Stella Award winner, multiple Dove Award winner, is in the high you know it's always charting on the gospel billboard chart he's pretty high on the food chain when it comes to gospel music even he feels as though it's like nope i am not willing for it to pay to get on these certain platforms or to get this certain exposure if i have to do this to compromise my beliefs and my faith i'd rather stay at the level that god has given me which is a high level and i'm hearing a lot about that from not only from artists but just people behind the scenes that the industry is more and more evil and why do we want to go into this industry where it's evil and ty spoke about a, a great he gave a great analogy he said that we're supposed to use the bait to catch the fish the fisherman doesn't want to eat his own bait which is worms so why do we want to eat our own worms he, he says he understands also how he can um take the bait give them a little bit but to hook them on to god so i thought this was very interesting to say the least that ty tribute this man is trying to put out a record and he's voicing his opinion by look man i don't know how lo much longer i'm gonna be in the industry and i see a lot of artists running to be in this industry and i i, I thought that was curious so that's why i wanted to share with you and i am wondering if you're curious about that too, please comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. And also, man, check out Christian Hip Hop Now, a blog site for independent Christian hip hop artists and urban R&B. Man, we got some things going on right now. And also, I'm looking for a few good people. If you made it this far to the video, I'm looking for a few good people to be on my community to do my top 10 list for CHH Now. I'm starting a uh, top 10 show and I would love to have you uh, send you some songs, sing the playlist, you listen to it, and you rank the list for me. And on Saturdays, we will reveal our top 10. I want to get more involvement with you guys. And please, if you're interested about that, hit the link below, man. It's down there. Also, maybe a card some way. I don't know. But again, it's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator. Lucky Murray here with Christian Hip Hop now. And um, yeah, Ty Tribute saying like, look, man. He's not with selling his soul for this industry, including the gospel industry. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. But uh, until next time, people.